What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video I'm gonna tell you about the biggest lies that prisoners tell while locked up. You know I'm pretty sure it's not hard to imagine that while locked up guys will tell some pretty tall tales about all sorts of things. In fact take it from me especially guys will lie about damn near everything while serving time. And because of that, in this video, we're gonna address some of the biggest lies that prisoners tell. Oh man, that looks, that looks good. That's why, that's why we're almost done. It's seven dollars, man. You're the best tattoo you ever had in your life. We're done. Take a look at that and tell me what you think. Dude, where's the Mona Lisa? Is this supposed to be bleeding like this? Did you hit a vein? How deep were you going? <laughs> I ain't never... You know, I'm not exactly sure why when locked up guys tell so many damn lies. I mean, I just don't get it. Maybe they do so because they think it'll make them sound better, more cool, more hip, will help them fit in, or maybe further their agenda, or maybe help them to not have so many damn problems. In fact, I can remember when I first began to serve time myself, I did do a little lying. But for good reason, I have to assure you. Because when I was first beginning to serve time and first getting locked up for that very first time, I mean, nobody ever really wants to admit that it is their very first time. And you know, that kind of almost sounds like sex, too. I would go ahead and include a skit right here about my first time. But we are trying to get ads on these videos. But yeah, you know, when I first started serving time, I didn't want to admit that it was my very first time and I had no idea what I was doing locked up, how to move, how to survive, how to do anything in relation to being in jail or prison. So of course, I lied. Hey, gringo, gringo, you're looking green, they say. You sure this isn't your first time? My first time, man, what? What? My first time? Hell no! I've been here a time or two. This isn't my first rodeo, Sancho. I've been here before, okay? I've been in the can before. I, this, this ain't my first time. I can't tell, gringo. I can't tell. You're coming out of the shower butt ball naked, gringo. Who does that while locked up? Nobody does that who's ever been locked up before. They don't? It's a joke. It's a joke. A joke? I know nobody does that who's ever been locked up before. Again, a joke. I'm just kidding. I'm going back to the shower right now to put my clothes on. Please don't follow me in there. Please don't follow me into the shower. Don't follow me. And I'm not going to comment as to whether or not old Sancho followed me back into that shower. Sorry. Just had a little bit of a flashback. So yeah. I did some lying myself. The biggest, in fact, being that I told guys during the first time that I was getting locked up that that was not my first rodeo. But that little white lie that I told there is nothing in comparison to some of the bigger, more extravagant, elaborate lies that guys will tell you while serving time. And in fact, you will hear lies about all sorts of things. How much money I had out there in the free world. I had private jets. I had chauffeur services with limousines just to take me to 7-Eleven. I had more girls than you'll see on the Spanish channel. You see all them girls on that Spanish channel right there? I had more girls than that. Dude, you're not even getting mail in here. So tell me, how exactly do you have that many damn women out there in the free world? Because I'm not buying it. I'm not seeing you get any mail, so I damn sure ain't believing this bullshit you're trying to sell me. So it's with all of that being mentioned that let's go ahead and dive into some of the biggest lies that prisoners will tell you. The first lie that I want to tell you about is probably the biggest damn lie that you will ever hear anywhere while serving time. And in fact, I can guarantee that you won't hear this lie one time. You might actually hear it about a thousand times. And that is, I sold. I didn't use. I sold. I was out there getting money. Me? Use it? What do I look like? Pookie from New Jack City? In fact, now that you mention it, that is exactly who you look like. 
For whatever reason, while locked up, you're gonna have a certain amount of prisoners who don't want to admit the cold hard truth. And that truth being that while out there in the free world, they were junkies. Now maybe this is because they feel like admitting that they did drugs will make them sound like less of a person. And you know, to be completely honest with you, I'm not even sure why that would be their mentality. Because out there in the free world, that damn sure wasn't the mentality they were carrying with them every day, doing whatever it is that they were doing, using whatever drugs that they wore, which would end up in some way leading them to be exactly where they are right then and there. And these prisoners who will tell you this lie that they sold and didn't use will try to sell you the world. They'll try to make you believe all sorts of things that you know are just not true. Telling you about all of the lavish lifestyle type of rich and famous things that they had and the way that they were living. When you know damn well looking at that person who has never made commissary since you've been there doesn't have one single 39 cent soup inside of their locker that they damn sure didn't have a single thing that they're trying to convince you that they had or were doing out there when they were free. And you know the craziest thing about this lie in particular is when you actually run into one of the guys who told you this lie while locked up back out in the free world. You'll run into this guy maybe outside of a 7-Eleven or Walmart and as soon as you see them you realize even that much more just how everything that they told you while locked up was absolute and utter lies because they'll come up to you like Hey! Oh sh Hey, what's up, man? It's King Kilo! King Kilo, you remember? King Kilo, man, what you been up to, man? You looking great! Hey, man, uh... You got $20, I could borrow. Good old King Kilo. Guess you really weren't doing everything that you claimed to have been doing. And now you want to borrow $20? Damn! I thought you told me you had private jets and chauffeurs and more women than I'd ever seen on the Spanish channel. I knew there was a reason why you didn't have one single ramen noodle soup inside of your locker. The next ginormous lie I want to tell you about in this video that prisoners will tell is about their damn fight game. In fact, everybody that you meet while locked up will tell you just how trained to go they actually are. And you know, to be completely truthful with you, and it's me mentioning this, that I know at some point, definitely during my youth, I used to be one of these damn prisoners as well, okay? I'm no one to call the kettle black. Because when locked up, you have to carry around an air of confidence about yourself. Like your fight game is like a combination between Steven Seagal, John claude Van Damme, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, John Jones, Conor McGregor, and Floyd Mayweather. You don't want no problem with me, okay? Because I'm crazy and I can fight. I can fight really well. Yeah, and if your fight game is not like that, if your fight game is not a mix between Steven Seagal, John claude Van Damme, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, John Jones, Conor McGregor, and Floyd Mayweather, you do run a very high likelihood. In fact, the odds are probably about 99.9% .9 that you're gonna end up getting exposed by someone whose fight game is actually like that. Maybe not like all of those people combined, but they most certainly can fight a lot better than you or whoever it is who's running their mouth claiming to be the world champion of the entire world when it comes to fighting. You don't want no problems with me, I swear, I, I swear you don't want no And you know the one thing about this lie in particular claiming that you are the god of fighting, that you are Bruce Almighty, Bruce Almighty, that was a funny movie. But you are the king of fighting, you're the king of the ring, king of the hill, can't nobody take you down, you are that you a bad dude! It's usually that while telling that lie, you're gonna get exposed pretty quickly. And that's gonna be a lie that quickly gets outed. Just like your lights when they get cut off by that combination between Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and everybody else that I mentioned. Combined together. Super fighters. A lot of the guys that you will meet in prison. They actually are. But again, on the flip side of the coin, just as many bad fighting type of dudes that you'll meet while locked up, you will certainly meet just as many dudes who really aren't about that life. Yet, they'll certainly claim so until they get exposed. This next humongous lie that I want to tell you about, this one, it's a doozy. 
I cannot tell you how many guys I have met while locked up who will claim that they ain't never told in their entire life. They kept it absolutely 100 to the gate. They as true as it comes. They got the code of the streets. They got the game. It's not to be told. It's to be sold. You know, that almost sounds like snitching right there. Let's go ahead and sell the game. Let's not tell it. Because, in fact, that's exactly what a snitch will do. They're certainly going to sell the game in exchange for some sort of a time cut or a plea bargain. Hell, maybe even just an extra hot dog tray. But they certainly ain't going to do no snitching for free. I mean, who does that? But don't get me wrong. There are prisoners who will do just that. They will tell for absolutely nothing at all. Maybe they're thinking that if they do enough telling while locked up, they could come home and get a job with the police department. Hey, what you prisoners doing over here? What you convicts doing over here? Damn it, man! You're locked up with us! You're wearing the same orange jumpsuit that we wear! You're an inmate too! What in the hell has got you thinking that you're the damn police? Hey, uh, that's it. I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You're going to jail. Oh, what, you think this is a joke? You think this is a game? You don't think I can arrest you? You don't think I can arrest you? SWAT cop! Swat guy, I ain't no MMA swipe. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You going to jail. You going, you going to jail. I tell you, you're going to meet all kinds if ever you got to serve some time. And one kind that you are most certain to meet quite a few of are guys who will claim that they never told nothing. They don't do no snitching. They don't do no telling at all. They keep it 100 and they keep it real. I'm a real inmate. I'm a convict. I don't do no snitching. Absolutely. I'll sign right here on this dotted line. I'm going to get that extra hot dog tray though, right? I can get that. Joe Guerrero was tattooing and he was tattooing 10 different prisoners. Can I get two hot dog trays? In fact, I couldn't even begin to try to put a number on how many prisoners I met while locked up who claimed that they weren't snitches. And yet, the next thing you know, you see them going to court the same day their cellmates going to court when you know full good and well, it's pretty ironic these two would have court on the same day. Unless one guy was only going there to testify against the other. And you know, as much as I'm laughing and joking about this in particular, this is actually a really sickening thing to me because I think of all of the times that I actually saw this in particular taking place. You got a guy who's going to court and then right behind him, just a few minutes later, they take his celly out because he's going to court to testify against that guy. But yeah, ain't nobody who's locked up doing no telling. And hell, what's even more crazy about it is nowadays, so many prisoners are telling. I mean, they're more inclined to tell you that they are doing that. Because for whatever reason, snitching is like a sport these days. And it seems a lot of damn prisoners are playing that sport. The next biggest lie that prisoners tell, I'm actually going to use a part of a really recent video to help describe this a little better. I'm out of here! Hey, y'all be easy, man! I'm going to need all this! I'm going to need all this when I get released! Be easy, though! I'm going to write you! I'll write you. I'll write you. I know it might sound crazy, but you couldn't imagine how many guys that you will get to know while locked up. You'll befriend. These guys will be like your homeboys. You'll kick it with these guys every single day. And then slowly but surely, you'll start to see these guys going home. And it never fails every time a guy goes home. And hell, I'm pretty sure I'm even guilty of this myself. But every time a prisoner goes home, he is absolutely 100% guaranteed to tell somebody else as he's leaving or maybe a few different prisoners as he's leaving. Hey, y'all be easy, man. I'm going to write you. As soon as they let me out this front gate, I'm going to go get a stamp and I'm going to write you that first letter. I'll send you like $10, too. And those prisoners that that bold-faced lie is told to will be sitting there hoping and praying and waiting on mail call like man I know my homeboy about to write me I'm about to get that ten dollars he told me he was gonna send me with ten dollars shit I can order like almost 30 soups I'm gonna be straight I'm gonna be good and then something like five or maybe ten years goes by and that guy still hasn't gotten that first damn letter. And in fact, in some cases, and this is absolutely crazy, but I've seen this happen more than a few times. The next time that prisoner hears from that other prisoner who was getting released and telling them while doing so that he was going to write them is when that guy is coming back to prison. I'm being dead serious with you. I've seen this happen more than a few times. I've had guys tell me they were going to write me. And then the next time I see them, they're coming right back into classification at the prison. I'm like, Jimbo, it's Joe. 
What happened with the $10? What? Where the ten dollars at? I don't even care. He's coming back to prison. I want to know why he didn't write. And Jimbo's thinking, Joe, man, hey, forget your ten dollars. You know how much time they just gave me for my fifteenth DUI? Fifteen DUIs. You're probably gonna get a life sentence too, by the way. So just a little lesson to take from this video, and God forbid you ever find yourself in a position like this, but hypothetically speaking, knock on wood, I ain't got no wood to knock on for this video, but if for whatever reason you ever find yourself in a situation where you're locked up and your buddy's going home and he's telling you he's gonna write you, don't put too much hope into him actually doing so. Unless it's Punk Tattoo Guy, cause that mother damn sure wrote me. He sent me $15 too. But he was definitely looking for a little more than just to be able to send me a letter and that $15 money order. The next biggest lie that I want to tell you about in this video is guys claiming that they can tattoo while locked up. And you know, just to go ahead and throw this out there as well, this is probably something that I also lied about myself when I first was beginning to get locked up and actually first beginning to learn how to tattoo while locked up. But you know, for guys who do learn how to tattoo while locked up, they're definitely gonna have to lie at some point to somebody about just how good of a tattoo artist they actually are. But while serving time, everybody wants to have a hustle. They want to be able to keep their lockers as full as they possibly can with as much commissary, as many zoom zooms and wham whams as they can possibly stuff into those foot and wall lockers that they can. And with the fact that every prisoner wants to have a hustle that allows them to live so lavishly like the rich and the famous of the prison system, one such prison hustle that is absolutely flooded with competition is tattooing. And in fact, while locked up, so many guys that you meet will claim to be the best damn tattoo artist you ever seen on this side of the prison system. They are just that good with that CD player motor and that guitar string or whatever the hell else they're using for their needle. And they can tattoo any damn thing that you want. What, you want a portrait? Oh man, we gonna hook you up. You want some portrait work? Dude, I'm gonna give it to you for the absolute low. Let me see the picture. Oh, hell yeah, I can do, what is, what is that, the Mona Lisa? Dude, I got you, man. And let me tell you something. Look, don't tell nobody, all right? But I'm gonna cut you a deal. I'm gonna work with you. You work with me, I'm gonna work with you. I just wanna get paid. I just wanna have some soups that I can eat. I'm hungry, man. You know, everybody, we gotta eat while locked up. So look, I'm gonna do this Mona Lisa for you. Where you want it? You want it on your stomach? I think it's gonna look real good on your stomach. You just lay on your back, I got you. I'm gonna do this Mona Lisa for you. I'm only gonna charge you $7. You got $7? You got some icy white honey buns, some cookies? I'm trying to make me a prison cake. I need some sodas too and a couple of ramen noodle soups. You got me? Meet me in my cell in about 15 minutes. I'll be ready. I'll have this all ready to rock and roll. Boy, you're gonna be hooked up. Just don't tell nobody what I charged you, all right? I got you. Oh man, that looks. That looks good. Stop crying. Stop crying. Dude, we're almost done, man. It was $7, man. This is gonna be the best tattoo you ever had in your life. You with me? You with me? Hey, don't pass out. Don't pass out. Stay with me. I know you've been bleeding a little bit, but stay with me. We're almost done. I need them sodas and them soups. Ah, we're done. Take a look at that and tell me what you think. Is it supposed to be bleeding this much? Where's the, t where's the tattoo? I can't really see the Mona Lisa. Should I, should I wash this off? Should I go? Should, should I wash? Should I wash this? Okay. Okay. Note to self: the fake blood that took about thirty minutes to try to get that off of my stomach. I still ain't even got it all off. Um, and now my stomach is sticky. We go all out for these videos here on After Prison Show. But again, you know, when locked up, you're gonna meet all sorts of guys who will claim to be the baddest tattoo artist you've ever met on this side of the prison system. And you really gotta pick and choose wisely any of them guys that you may decide to do some business with. Or you might end up like old Joe right there trying to get that Mona Lisa. And that thing just really not turning out so well. And the last lie that I wanna throw into this video, I just had to throw this one in there. But of course it is, I'm innocent, I didn't do it. You know, a lot of prisoners will claim that they really are innocent, and truth be told, I'm sure there are a lot of prisoners who actually are innocent, who are locked up. Maybe they're locked up for something they didn't do at all. 
However, on the flip side of that coin, where that coin go, where that coin go, you know that flip of a coin thing? I got that from this old crackhead prisoner that I was locked up with who used to do this pop lock and dance thing. And part of his pop lock routine was doing the flip of the coin thing. You remember cheeseburger and the cheeseburger dance? Smoke that crack, cheeseburger, smoke that crack! But again, on the flip side of the coin, there will certainly be a lot of prisoners who will lie to you, lie straight to your face, knowing damn well they did whatever it is that they're locked up for, all the while telling you that they didn't do it. Damn this damn thing. I don't understand it. I never have been able to figure it out. Maybe you could shed a little light on this situation. Maybe give me your thoughts on it as to why prisoners will lie about the fact that they just didn't do it. Again. I don't want to take away from any prisoners who may be locked up who really are innocent. But for those who will actually lie about them being innocent, knowing all the while that they are not, I have no idea why they do that. Hey, look, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace! Oh man, that looks good. That looks good. Stop crying. Stop crying. You were almost done. That's seven dollars, man. That'd be the best tattoo you ever had in your life. You with me? You with me? Hey! Don't pass out. Don't pass out. Stay with me. I know you've been bleeding a little bit, but stay with me. We're almost done. I need them sodas and them soup. Ah. We're done. Take a look at that and tell me what you think. Dude, where's the, where's the Mona Lisa? Is this supposed to be bleeding like this? Did you hit a vein? How deep were you going? I ain't never...